Hey, hey everyone, my name is Valentino and welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of want to talk about something that uh, I like low-key fucked up. It was so embarrassing that I I was ready to get. Well, first I want to say sorry I've been gone. Like I haven't really been posting. I've been trying to get my life together um, and just like I keep saying like shit keeps fucking up. Like. Uh, I'll let you know when I get it all together. And then I can, you know, steadily, like, really start, you know, really getting this channel back together, okay? Oh, and I'm for sure gonna do, like, a couple of workout videos with Chris soon. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming. But what sparked this video was yesterday I got a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing, Lemon Clock. Um, it's actually my little cousin's friend. And... <sighs> It kind of brought back this memory of a situation that was, it was really bad. Like, luckily, it wasn't in front of too many people, but it was just like, it kind of just, it sucked. Like, I didn't want to be one of those people. Like, sometimes, like, you're like, oh, I'm not one of those people. I'm an advocate, you know. I'm here for trans rights. I'm, I'm here. And then you go and do shit that is just like, okay, are you really, though? So, I went to this YouTube event at the YouTube Space LA. I typically, well, I haven't gone for years. Like, I was excited to go back in, like, 2012. But, like, when I started my own channel and, you know, I was eligible to go a few years ago, I kind of just didn't really get into it but this year I've been wanting to be a little more social and I've decided to like you know start going and I went to a, a gay event at the YouTube space and they had like typically you know they'll have like a speaker like somebody that has like a large following and they'll speak and motivate or whatever and then they'll have like you know food and drinks before and after and then you can mingle have like photo booths blah blah, blah. so this person speaks, it's a trans YouTuber, and he literally goes through, like, his transformation, right? And, like, afterwards, I was like, oh my god, I really want to talk to him. But I was with, like, it was me, my boyfriend, and this other girl, and her friend. And it was just the four of us, and we were kind of, like, right next to him, though. And I was like, oh, there's a speaker. Let's go um, talk to her. <laughs> Let's go um, talk to her. And I like literally misgendered him and like the girl and she was like, you mean him? And I was like, oh yeah, but I mean like she kind of acts like, uh, like, you know, like a girl, like, I mean, I don't know. And then I had to like take a step back like, oh shit, like. Is it really that hard? Like, yeah, I might be that type of gay that will have a friend that's a guy and be like, girl, or like, oh, she's um, she's looking cute tonight or whatever, even though it's like a full male dressed in like male clothing, not wearing makeup or anything. But I'd be like, oh yeah, she did that, you know? But in that aspect, even if this is a person that transitioned into male, clearly this person could be triggered by me doing that so I should take the extra step to just like calm down and just maybe be more specific or like be gender neutral and not use genders or I mean if it's that difficult for me which is not or just go by their preferred pronouns you know but in that moment I literally tried to defend myself like okay but I mean like he acts like a gay boy, so I can say girl, right? Or I can say, you know, her, uh, but I guess not. <laughs> and then I ended up not talking to him because I was embarrassed because he was right there. He could have heard me. And because sometimes when I get tipsy, because at that point it was like literally you go, you get there, you know, you get liquored up and then they're like, oh, the bar is closing, the event's starting. So you go and get one or two more drinks, you know, so you go for the next hour while you're, you know, being entertained. And then after that, so it was literally after all of that and I had gotten more drinks and more socializing and then they happened just to just be right there. So I was like, oh my God, I should talk to him. But I said her and it was really embarrassing because like when I said that, I kind of felt something. And then it was kind of weird that she was the one to say something and not my boyfriend, but maybe he didn't even get it. But it was just like, 
Ooh, that was, it was bad. I literally just, <laughs> like literally just watched this person go through a full on transformation. It's just like, dang, like how disrespectful. So um, I wanted to share that just to show that sometimes you might not think that you're problematic or you might not think that you are, um, you feel a certain type of way or you show certain characteristics that people may label you as like transphobic or racist or homophobic or whatever but just keep in mind that you might say things that are offensive and instead of defending yourself what you should do is take a step back um realize what that person is telling you and you know um correct yourself and apologize you know that's the best way to do it and i fucked up and i just wanted to say that and another thing that sparked this video is because I don't want to throw this person under the bus, but a family member of mine, it was me and like other family members, we were talking in like a group chat and I showed them the comment because I was surprised at the nickname that he used for my little cousin. I was like, oh my God, they call him this at school? And he was like, oh, a trans gay? What is that? And I'm like, what do you mean? So then my, my other family member like broke it down, like, you know, gay sexual orientation and then um, trans, like gender identity, right? And then he was like, wait, so how are you both? And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, it's two separate things. And he was like, well, I'm still confused. I'm like, it's really not that hard to get the concept. Like, I mean, if you Google it, it's right there. It's just to be like, oh, well, why do you have to be both? Why can't you just pick one and just, you know, say one? But that's what you are. <laughs> like, you face different challenges being what you are, depending. Like, I don't go through the same challenges as a gay white man with blonde hair and blue eyes because, I mean, it's just, it's completely different, you know? Just like a gay black, trans, you know, female to male boy would be like, their whole journey is gonna be completely different than mine. And what if they, you know, like women, you know? So what? What if they like men? So what? It's just, just like, <laughs> um, what's her name? Gigi. She had to like come out as gay and then had to come out as trans and then had to come out as a lesbian. But anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Mine, <laughs> I'm trying to get it together. So we working on it. I'm working on a project that I feel like so many of you guys have been waiting for and i was just like you know what i might as well just go ahead and do it so that's going to be coming next month i <laughs> it's going to be interesting comment down below what you want to see next of course and um i think i'm going to have an underwear review coming pretty soon with this new company um we've been in contact maybe we'll see if not i can just do you know a fun little underwear video and you know an exciting location i think i want to do a sunset like thing like I wanna I want like a view I want like a cliff I want to be walking on the edge in some underwear nobody steal this idea I'm doing it on the horizon sunset sun's coming down oh that would be cute right yes let's do it anyways comment down below give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell next to it to make sure you're notified every time I post until next time <laughs>